The Three-Stage Safety Model, a case study. Recognizing, evaluating, and controlling electrical hazards must be a part of your daily routine. If you are not vigilant, you may find yourself in a dangerous situation. Consider the example of an electrical service company employee who is called out to change the light bulbs and pole-mounted light fixtures in a commercial parking lot. The worker's truck was equipped with a roof-mounted ladder. According to the work procedure set out by the electrical service company, the employee was supposed to park at the first pole, raise the ladder, and change the light bulb. Then, leave the ladder extended and drive to the next pole to replace the light. After changing the first light, the worker got into the truck and drove to the next pole. Along the way, a steel cable connected to the ladder contacted an overhead power line. As a result, the entire truck became energized. Realizing that something was wrong, the worker stopped the truck to investigate. As soon as he stepped out of the truck and touched both the truck and the ground, he completed the circuit and electricity started flowing through his body. The truck caught fire and the employee burned to death at the scene. This example demonstrates that if the employee had taken the time to recognize hazards present at the worksite and then evaluated the risk of injury or electrocution given the work protocol and regulatory requirements, he could have taken adequate steps to protect himself. OSHA regulations require a clearance distance of at least 10 feet between overhead power lines and aerial ladders to prevent inadvertent contact with these lines. It is also important to note that moving a vehicle with the ladder in the extended position is a dangerous practice. Therefore, if a job hazard analysis of the worksite had been conducted before the servicing operations began, the overhead power lines would have been recognized as a significant hazard and appropriate control measures could have been instituted, such as lowering the ladder between installations. Finally, if the worker had been trained appropriately, he would have known to stay inside the vehicle in case of contact with overhead power lines. Dump trucks, front-end loaders, and cranes can lift and make contact with overhead lines. Touching equipment that is in contact with live wires may lead to electrical shocks and electrocution. In case an equipment or part of a vehicle contacts the overhead power lines, the key to safety is to avoid becoming part of the current path between the power line, metal parts of the equipment, and the ground. If the vehicle operator is inside the vehicle, they must remain inside keep their insulating gloves on, and avoid contact with any metal objects until the power lines are de-energized by the utility company. The key takeaway from this scenario is that the three-stage safety model is a simple but powerful tool in protecting workers from the dangers of electricity. Workers should always be vigilant of what is going on around them and continuously recognize and evaluate hazards to stay safe and protected.